Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Right, we don't have for another, well, yeah, it is another, actually, technically speaking, uh, Q&A, right? We're going to have a look at, you're just going to be staring at Facebook. I do apologise. I haven't got any gameplay to show you. Uh, right, we'll do, I did a couple, of, about four hours ago, I said oh, I'm going to have a question and answer, so there's a few people answered. Uh, right, I won't say the second name, but you can see it. I'll just say their first names. Right, Kevin says, do you like horror movies? <laughs> Yes and no. I think I'm a bit of a pussy when it comes to horror movies. I don't like horror games as well. Um, I scare myself shitless. And I'm easily scared. And I jump like a... I think... In fact, a couple of nights ago, we were watching a film. And I scared the living crap out of Bayer. Because I jumped for the ceiling. And I thought she was going to give birth. Um, and in fact, I don't even think that was a horror movie. Um, and then Bayer says to me, can we have beef chow mein tonight? No, sorry. Um, Brayden says, still no little one yet. No, she still hasn't dropped. No. And no signs yet either. Um, Miss, Miss Mo, I might pronounce that completely wrong and I do apologise. Do you have a hobby or something? If so, what is it? My hobby is YouTube. That's a hobby. Uh, playing games and stuff like that. Um, because when I was a kid, there was nothing like this. Um, right. Aaron says, how much should I be looking for? I'm looking out for an en level entry gaming PC. Depends what you want to play. If you want to sit and play Minecraft, even though it's quite intensive at times, uh, especially if you're going to put mods and shaders and stuff like mine is, um, you want to go for about a mid-range. You want to spend about seven, eight hundred pounds, maybe a thousand, for something decent, something that you can upgrade when the graphics cards get old and stuff like that. Uh, what's your favourite game and why? My favourite game of all time, and I still think it still holds a candle at this moment, was Star Trek Elite Force, the first one that ever came out. Um, it was when Star Trek was really quite popular. Um, I, I think it was like 90, 92, 93, I think that was out. It might have been a bit earlier, or a bit later. Could be a bit later. It's a good over 10 years old anyway. So he might, be, he might be about 15. I can't remember without looking at it. Um, and I used to play a game called On The Online. And I used to be very good. It's quite ironic now because um, I'm quite shit at the FPS ones now. Unless I really spend rigorous amounts of time that I don't have. Um, like people like Anders, he can spend all day every day just getting better and better and better and better. Plus he has youth on his, on his side as well. You know, I'm, I'm 37 now. I, I'm about as good as I'm ever going to get, or as worse as, well, I get worse as I get older. Unless you practice and practice and practice. Uh, but on the multiplayer game, I was one of the best. I used to go into servers and disintegration one-shot kills, which it was, with low gravity. And I used to just clear room. My name was Mob Marv. Marv was because, Marv was like a short, between our a little circle of friends at that time. Marv used to mean motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's quite ironic now, but that's what we used to, uh, I used to be called. Uh, right. When and why did you start your channel? I started my channel, this original Evil Weevil 02, before it was obviously closed down. That was 2006 when I started that channel. And it was just, YouTube wasn't really that big, I don't think. Well, it probably was getting that to that stage. Uh, it wasn't taken over by Google and ads and stuff. Were, I don't even think we were about then. And I was starting to upload um, Championship Manager, just the game footage and stuff like that. Uh, um, and I got, I think, about three or four thousand views over like a, a five, no, about a four year span. You know, that's how bad my channel is. It's not that bad bear now but um, after I did that I just started Minecraft um, and I started uploading with a bit of music um, me and Bayer 
building on our multiplayer world. And that's quite ironic because like the th that the fourth video I ever did was called multiplayer gameplay or something like that. And for some damn reason it just got tagged upon a, a video that had over a million hits. So suddenly that went from about 6,000 views uh, to 590,000. And that's quite good for something like my channel. Over a space of about four weeks. And that was just binging in loads and loads and loads and loads of uh, views that was. And subscribers and stuff like that. Unfortunately that's gone now. Um, as to why, I really don't know. I thought... I thought... Uh, YouTube would be very easy to crack, but it, it's not. It's not at all. Even now, I'm having a struggle to get people to watch. You know, it's probably me. Maybe it's too, I'm too old. Maybe I'm not that entertaining. Maybe I'm boring. You know, um, I don't know. One day I'll crack it, I guess. Uh, what's the longest time you've been alive in DayZ? I'm actually still alive. Um, and I've killed about 109 mobs, 109 zombies. I haven't come across a player yet, and I haven't killed one. I think I'm just being a very, very sneaky and keeping away out of the way. And that's probably over the last two weeks. No, it isn't, because I did a, a co-op with Anders where I died. So, technically speaking, no. Um, it's probably been about three days. This is the longest I've ever... Uh, when will the next... When will be there another server, and what? When was the website going to finish? Unfortunately, the website came along with a server that was closed. Um, I don't like to badmouth people. I don't like to air my dirty laundry, but I think people have a right to know. But basically, Sin, the person who did all the server and took care of it, did all the mods and stuff like that. Um, one day decided that he wasn't going to have the plots anymore that he was just going to put it to a PvP world without me even knowing but technically speaking it was his server so I would just like to have known what was going on uh, which I wasn't told and every time I tried to contact him or tried to talk to him he'd just either go offline or completely ignore, or ignore me um, later information I found out from another source, it wasn't the fact that he couldn't deal with the pressure of the server, it was the fact that he couldn't be asked to talk to me anymore. So, Sin, there's a big finger for you. Massive finger, go fuck yourself. Yeah. And uh, just for, as a server, I don't know. As for another server, I don't know. Um, I can't afford it at the moment. Um, family comes first before anything. Uh, there we go. Uh, Drew says, Bea and Terry, how is little, little one's vacation been? She's been bored stupid. We've been trying to keep her entertained as possible. But six weeks is a long time for a four-year-old to uh, not be at school. And she loves school because she's a very, very bright little girl. Um, but she goes back in another couple of weeks, uh, which is like, hey, she goes full time back to school, uh, because before she was at nursery, but now she's at full time. Um, but she is going to a Catholic school, which is something that I am, because, um, if you know what I'm like, you'll know that I'm a, an atheist stroking on agnostic. I don't believe in anything. I think it's we just hear as random events and stuff like that. And I think religion is the the curse of everything. So, if, but that's the only school she can go to around here that she's um, been given a place. So I just have to accept that. But I will. Um, I'll, I'll actually tell you a little story. Apparently, um, Bayer went to one of the uh, meetings that they have when they introduce and the kids and all that stuff. And the headmistress sits down with all the parents, and the headmistress said, uh, I expect the, the ch children to uh, pray and stuff like that. And I'm saying to Bayer, no, it's not going to happen. No way. 
I'm not going to have her childhood like my, my child was. I was rammed down my throat. I let her make her own choice. But I will let her know that it's all a big baloney like Santa Claus. Um, and the, the headmaster turned around and said, uh, it could make me very happy if they at least um, do their grace and amen. And I'm thinking to myself, who is it her for little children just to make her happy? What about the children? You know, in uh, and my kid, just to make her happy. I'm sorry, but you could go fuck yourself about making you happy. It's about making my child happy and in a safe environment. But uh, I'm holding my tongue and um, I've talked way too long. That That is basically it. If you get any more questions and answers, um, just uh, I'll put a link into Facebook. Just go on there and I'll do another question and answers. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.